psilocybin, um, as far as plant-based medications go, it's been used for thousands of years, thousands of years, right? This is not new. Um, but what is new is um, the opportunity that these big universities have had to go in and actually study uses, right? So before, um, you know, for indigenous tribes, they've used it for ceremony, they've used it for you know, all of these different things with this intention, um, the set and setting, right, that whole purpose um, piece of it. Um, and so what we're seeing in big universities right now is we're seeing its use with um, addiction, right? So we're seeing alcohol addiction um, dramatically decrease with the use of psilocybin. And we're talking about like one or two off treatments. We're not talking about, you know, days and days and months and months of treatment. We're seeing these one off cases. Um, same with smoking, right? So people can quit smoking after actually one treatment, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and of course, PTSD, that's where it's been really a big focus with mental health. Um, and of course, you know, depression, anxiety, um, it's even been used for chronic pain. So it's not just this, you know, one drug, one purpose kind of a thing. It, um, mm -hmm. it creates this opportunity because of the way it works, right? It works by changing neural pathways. Um, and they're having phenomenal results in the research studies right now. And so we're really excited um, about this possibility. And again, you know, it, it's all about serving our community. Anything we can do just to, um, especially when it comes to mental health. And my husband's an army vet. Um, he's been, actually he's still guard, um, but he was active duty for eight years. Um, and he's now 17 years in. And I have seen, just tragic things when we lived at Fort Bragg and um, just how brokenhearted I was to see some of these soldiers coming back from war because of course right there you know during the Iraqi and the Afghani um, conflicts and it just broke my heart to talk to some of these military spouses who were like this isn't my husband right like um, this isn't who left and um, I could almost just start crying right now it just broke my heart working in the hospital there and having these tools available for our veterans, it really is next level. Um, and it's something that um, needs to happen.